Hey everybody, how's it? Aloha, this is Jeebs, your old composer here at the Decomposer Lounge. I want to welcome you back. It's Monday morning, new week. Last week, a little hectic, a little chaotic. Uh, the Faith No More uh, issue still hasn't been settled. I'm, I'm hoping uh, that it will so I can release that slow burn. If not, I think I have another one coming up for you on Thursday, so that's a good thing. Mars Volta! The Mars Volta, that's right. I say it that way. I don't know why. I've like some kind of fifties like TV space, you know, you know, adventure show in the Mars. Anyhow, um, very very uh, short but eclectic journey that I've had with the Mars Volta, and um, kind of very progressive in, in a lot of their work and stuff. So I look forward to this. And this apparently just released. So let's do this. Like usual, I want to thank you for your support, like you do. You want to check out the headset I'm wearing? The link will be down below. You want to buy me a cup of coffee? The link will be down below. You want to join me on Patreon? The link will be down below. All right, guys, let's do this. This is a new release by The Mars Volta, and the name of the song is Vigil. All right. song and the change up on the rhythm there now obviously I just the whole song went by and I didn't say anything because I was so into it and by the time I felt like I wanted to stop and say something I screw it there's only a minute left so uh, here we go I love the ambience use of the guitars you know I've been on an ambient trip lately uh, so when I hear that in songs that I'm doing reactions to I really kind of focus and I love there's a lot of swelling work that's going on in there volume up kind of work that's going on um, the, the uniqueness between the guitar uh, ambience that, that is being created and the really dry, tight sound of the drums adds a really super cool dynamic. Now, it's been a while since I've done a Mars Volta. I think it's almost been about seven or eight months. 
And I forgot how cool this guy's voice is. However, <coughs> not to take away from the performance, and I love when he gets way up in that falsetto part of his uh, register of his voice and stuff, where he did that in that one little section. Little engineering messing around going in, or with the voice. I don't know if it's I don't know if it's legitimately doubled, like saying on top of, or they use a doubler or some other plugin of which I am not made aware of because I'm old. But whatever that the, the uh, engineering technique is or what uh, technique they used uh, for his vocal sound to make it sound like there's one on top of the other, sounded great. I loved it, and it it, it didn't it, it added thickness, but didn't take away from him as a performer. You know, it didn't distract me, but I really super dug that. Oh, 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 and again, those bass lines. I love that. I don't know why I am drawn to it. I'm not a bass player, naturally. Maybe that was where I missed my ship. Uh, is somewhere inside, I'm a, I'm a bass player. Uh, but uh, great lines and all that. You nicely tighten the pocket and everything. This bass sounds great, but those lines that walk around, that adds so much to music, I mean, to songs and stuff. And it's... Very much an unsung hero, as I always say, that bass work. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, that, that ending with the ghost notes and stuff. That was so badass. Something else that I really loved about this is they got right into the song and these really super cool chord changes that, with that, that kind of took us on this kind of, I, I want to say, Beatle-esque journey. You know, they got right into it, and here's some really great chord changes and everything. And... When I say when I say pop style chord changes, they're just familiar chord changes that stay in the key and stuff like that. But the thing is, is they were going back and forth and pulling from here and coming here and coming here within the chord configurations of the chords that you can use. But it's great because a lot of the stuff that I listen to on this channel is very hardcore, you know, forward, you know, if it's not chugging, even if it's in the heavier metal, metal core, uh, except for prog metal stuff, you know, it's, there's a lot of it stays in a compact pocket and it's really based around a lot of rhythm and power and stuff like that. To hear a song like this, it's really light and churning and stuff. This was a badass way to start my morning. Uh, anyhow, so share with me your thoughts. Tell me what you thought about this song. I want to thank you guys again for your support. You can just subscribe, like, comment, all the great things that you hear on all the other videos. I want you to take some kind of action. Um, you can share the video. That's always fun, too. And the links for all the coffee, the headsets, the Patreon will be down below. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Have a killer week. All right. All right.